New tonight, an eight year old is in the hospital and in a coma after a hit and run. It happened on Monday in Cobb County. Tonight, police are searching for that driver. CBS 46 is Tracy Bragg is live in Marietta tonight. Tracy, this boy does have brain injuries. The hope is that he'll recover, but this is so serious. No, you're so right. This is very serious. I was just speaking to the young boy's grandmother. He says she has, a, or that the young boy has a number of broken bones. He's actually in the hospital. You see behind me, standing in front of Children's Northside Hospital. And actually, I have his grandmother here, Miss uh, Young here. I want to speak to her. Raquel, can you tell us what happened to your grandson this week? Well, he was playing outside and... Um he was going to his friend's house like he does his normal routine every day, and a car came out of nowhere and just hit Issa, but just left him. And so my son called me right away and said Issa got hit. They called 911. Um, there's about six different people that called 911 that day, and um, now he's on life support. You mentioned life support, very and, serious situation. He, um, he has uh, head injuries, broken bones all throughout his body, um, and right now we have him stabled. So it's very critical right now. This is obviously an extremely challenging time for your family. How are you all holding up right now? Um, well, my son and my daughter is not holding up. So I'm going to stand up for them and speak for Issa. I'm Issa's voice right now as his grandmother. Um, it's very hard to stand right here live right now to talk to anybody. And um, I just want the public to know if they can help me find the person that hit my grandson. That's how important it is. This is Issa's picture right here. That's Issa right there. That's Issa. Now, you're asking for the public's help in finding whoever was right. responsible for this. Right. You yes, also yes. have a GoFundMe page set up. Tell us how they can help you in that way. Um, the GoFundMe is actually for Issa, and um, it's called GoFundMe Supportive for Issa to help, you know, out with everything that's going on, you know, especially being in the ICU. Um, and anything can help us. You know, um, I don't even care if it's a dollar. It's just the fact that I just want people to help my son and my daughter, as well as Issa. You know, because after we go through the ICU, we have to turn around and we'll be in rehab. So um, we just want Issa to wake up. You know, that's the most important thing right now. And he's actually in a coma right now, he's right? In a coma have right we now. got any word from doctors how long he may be in that state? Have they shared any of that information? No, well, we talk to Issa every day, and the more you talk to him, he has a baby brother that's a year old. Um, he has a sister that's 12 years old. So we talk to him every day. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he listens to his brother, you know, because he's a baby. So he likes, he said, I'm going to be your big protector. So. Uh, between his mother, father, or everybody's supportive. His school, he goes to LaBelle Elementary School. They love him. And he's only eight. And he's just a baby. So I thank God that, you know, that everybody's coming together to help me support him as well as his father and mother. Now, uh, one last question I want to ask you. The driver who's responsible for this, what would you say to that driver if he or she is watching right now? What would you say to them? I would just ask them to come forward. You know, we forgive you. We just want you to come forward and ask why would you leave a baby? He's just eight years old on the side of the road. Why would you do that? And you're a coward for just not coming out. And you're still, today's Thursday. He got hit on Monday, you know, but he has very good supportive people. I do believe God's got this. And I know that we're going to keep praying. And I just want the world to pray for my grandson. Well, I'm praying for you. I know. So many folks out there right now watching this are praying for Issa. Mm -hmm. We're all believing and hoping he's going to make it through this. So you have our support. Thank you. Um, for folks out there, we're going to stay here. We're going to speak to Miss Young a little bit further. But for right now, we're going to toss it back to you all. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, Tracy, uh, just seeing that sweet faced boy, both pictures, you know, the, the one where he's laying intensive care in a coma in the hospital behind you, that grandmother's strength, just incredible. Um, Give her our best. And, and again, about the GoFundMe page, I know you went over that. If we could say that again, because perhaps we can link that on our app, on our social media sites. Just wishing this family the best, but they got to find who did this. They have to. Exactly, exactly. And so they want me to have you tell us about the GoFundMe page again. And, and everybody's speaking about how strong you are right now. You Thank are you. an amazing woman to be standing here right now under the circumstances. If you could just remind the folks who are watching right now mm -hmm. about the GoFundMe page and how they can help. 
Well, the GoFundMe page is free to support ESA. And um, like I said before, it doesn't matter what you give. It just helps us out with all the responsibilities because uh, for ESA's return and his bills and support his mother as well as his father because I don't want my son or my daughter to leave East side. I want to be the strong one. You know, I'm very numb right now. Um, there's so much more I could say and I know there's a little bit of time, but it would help me if you can go on East's page, it's on Facebook, and um, there's a link um, that I would give you so that you can give to, to the public and they can go on. So whatever you want to give and offer to help us, I would appreciate it. Thank you so much for your courage. And you all heard it first here. We're going to continue to track Issa's recovery and this investigation. Reporting live, I'm Trayson Bragg. I'll send it back to you all.